Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because God is great. Great thing. Bring his word to pass. Thank you. Many may not think that he is because of where they are, but he is still great. God is great. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you and we bless you. We thank you for the word on today. We thank you for everyone that is assembled here today. God, you said in your word that your word will not return to you void, but it will accomplish that thing that you have sent it to do. Amen. Now, Father God, anoint your word to heal, yeah. to deliver, yes. Yes. to encourage, to strengthen, yes. Father, in the name of Jesus. And God, bless the absent part of this church yes. Lord, today, yes. God. Yes. Yes. Touch them in a special way, Lord Jesus. And we're thanking you now. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. 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 You may be seated. Amen. We just bubble right on into the word. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. All right, mother. You will find me in the book of Daniel. Thank you, Lord. Daniel is a very familiar scripture, but we're going to put a little different spin on it this all morning. Right, Amen. All right. Mm -hmm. Daniel chapter 6. Mm. Our story. We're going to drop down to verse number 16. We're going to do 16 to 23. And then we're going to drop down further and do 16 and 27. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Amen. Daniel 6, dropping down to verse 16. Amen. So the king gave the order. And they brought Daniel and threw him into the lion's den. The king said to Daniel, May your God, whom you serve, continually rescue you. A stone was brought and placed over the mouth of the den. And the king sealed it with his own signet ring. And with the rings of his nobles, so that Daniel's situation may not be changed. Then the king returned to his palace and spent the night without eating and without any entertainment being brought to him, and he could not sleep. At the first light of dawn, the knight got up and hurried into the lion's den. When he came near the den, he called to Daniel in an anguished voice, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you serve continually, been able to rescue you well, from the lions? Well. Daniel answered, O king, live forever. My God sent his angel. And he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me, because I was found innocent in his sight. Nor have I ever done any wrong before you, O king. Thank God. The king was overjoyed and gave orders to lift Daniel out of the den. And when Daniel was lifted from the den, no wounds was found on him, because he had trusted in his God. Thank God. Now dropping down to verse 26. I issue a decree that in every part of my kingdom, uh -huh. people must fear and reverence the God of Dan, for there he is go. the living God, there you go. and he endures forever. Thank God. His Thank kingdom God. will not be destroyed, his dominion will never end. He rescues and he saves. He performs signs and wonders the Lord. in the heavens and on the earth. Thank he God. has rescued Daniel from the power of the lions. Thank Amen. God. For the Amen. reading of his word. Thank you, Lord. I thank the Lord for the confirmation through our bishop on last week and for the confirmation through my sister over here, shouting Jane about her about her testimony and allowing God to demonstrate his power. Amen. So my thought would be allow me to demonstrate. Thank God. Hallelujah. Allow me to demonstrate. Amen. Hallelujah. Just say it. Allow me to demonstrate. Allow me to demonstrate. That allow me, you're giving God permission to demonstrate his power in your life. Amen. Allow me to demonstrate. Okay. God showing his power. Daniel worked for a king in a pagan land. Can you just turn it down just a little bit? In a pagan land where it was against the law to pray to God for help. These men knew Daniel well 
They knew he could not be trapped into evil. But they also knew that he would be faithful to his God in all circumstances. His enemies also knew that people could be persuaded to do things they would not normally do. If they thought that a person or everyone else approved of that thing. Yes. And so Daniel's faithfulness to God causes him to be condemned to the lion's den. Wow. And he knew the safest thing he could do was to radically obey God. Yes. The power to obey God and stand for him comes from a subtle understanding that God is really in control of our fate. Yes. Allow me to demonstrate. Allow me to demonstrate. The meaning demonstrate means to manifest or exhibit, show clearly, show the existence or truth of something by giving proof or evidence. Thank you. Show how something works or is used, such as showing of a product in an effort to sell it or a display or outward show. Allow me to demonstrate. Hallelujah. Allow me to demonstrate. What is the purpose of the demonstration of the den? And there is four. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number one is stimulate interest. Well. We're going to go to Isaiah 46 and 9. Mm -hmm. The first purpose is of that then was to stimulate the people's interest. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 46 and 9 says, Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is no other. I am God, and there is none like me. Praise the Lord. A God like no other. Thank God. All right. Hallelujah. Product demonstrations provide visual support to enhance the quality of your sales presentation. Thank you, Jesus. People who are more visual or hands-on learners often need to see your product in action. Yes. To fully grasp its value and potential, the ability to see and feel your product is generally more appealing to a person than just your sale pitch. Yes. So meaning we just can't talk about it. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daniel was confident yeah, yeah. that God was going to deliver him. I am a hands-on God. Thank I God. am product in action. Thank no God. other God performs like me. Thank I God. am truth. So for Daniel, God was product in action. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank product God. in action. Yeah, Hallelujah. Yeah. He was product in action Praise for elder God. folks. Hallelujah. Yeah. When she had the stroke in the pool. Hallelujah. Yeah. How he covered and how he healed in her. Product in action. Thank he was God. product in action for Sister Tanya when she had that very bad accident and he caused her not to be hurt. Product in action. He was her protector. Hallelujah. Thank and he was product in action. But Elder Shanti, the day that she was said she was driving really bad. And she said, Lord, I can't see. And the angel was cleaning the windshield for her so she could see. For her, he was product in action. Hallelujah. With them, huh? He had to be product in action, huh? That's why he just couldn't simply, huh? Put him into the thing. It had to be a little bit more to it. It just can't be that easy. I gotta add something a little bit harder. So to prove to them that I am God and there is no other like me. Huh? I am God. I am product in action. Huh? Is he product in action in your life? Huh? Is God, huh? the man that is in your life, huh? is he acting according to things huh? that will make somebody say, who is this God that you serve? Huh? And there is no other God like me. Huh? But when they was in huh, the wilderness, how God provided food for them. Huh? Yes. I am product in action. Yes. I will be your sustainer and your provider. Huh? Yes. Product in action. in action. Meaning your product really works. With what we're saying. The power of God really works. Let me manifest or exhibit. Let me show you clearly who I am. Yeah. I am a God like no other. Product in action. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. He used it then to get them interested. I guess if he just threw Daniel in jail, it wouldn't have been no big thing because people go to jail all the time. But all he wants right, to see on, them on, be delivered. On, Hallelujah. On. I got to do something to get you really interested. Allow you know about how we are in the mall and we are walking past little kiosks and the people got perfume or whatever. Yeah. Once they don't got your attention, you stop. Hallelujah. Sometimes we don't even look that way. But I guess just throwing Daniel in jail was not going to get their attention. So I got to throw him in the den with some ferocious lions. Hallelujah. Sometimes just doing one trial is not really going to get the people attention. Sometimes God got to put us in a really hard circumstance huh, to show who he is in us. Huh. Oh, I'm just not going to move her down to the next level. I'm going to take away her benefits all completely all together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And watch me be product in action for her. Huh. And through him being product in action, somebody else got saved. Hallelujah. Now, hallelujah. You know the potential, the ability. 
ability to see huh, and feel the product in action. In action. I got to make God appealing to somebody else. That's right. Allow product me to in action. Amen. That's right. God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Ah. They have to feel your product. Come on. Yeah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Just be telling you that God saved me. It's just me telling you that God saved me. But what else did he do? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did he save you from a life of drugs? Hallelujah. Did he save you from something even terrible? Did you used to be a thief, but I'm not a thief anymore? God delivered me from that. Hallelujah. They got to hear more than I just got saved. I got to make my story interesting. I got to go to the dark place where I don't want to go and tell nobody what I used to be doing. What God delivered me from. Product in action. Hallelujah. And then when you tell them what God really delivered you from, they will become interested in the God that you are serving. Just don't give them the top. Give them the cream too. Hallelujah. Give them the cream too. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And then they will say, I didn't know you used to be that way. If God delivered you, then he can deliver me. You got to make your deliverance story very interesting. And you got to tell them the truth. Hallelujah. I don't want nobody to know that about me. I don't want nobody to know that about me. But you're not going to convince them to get saved and that God is a deliverer. Thank you, Jesus. Brought up in action. That's why he had to use the den to stop them in their traps. That's why you got to use your dark testimony to stop the person in their traps and for them to get into it. Free 
trials of my protection. I'm giving out free trials of deliverance. I'm giving out free trials of healing. Hallelujah. Because I am a God like no other. And in me there is truth that I am God. And there's no other like me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Amen. I am God and there's no other like me. He had to use Daniel to prove that God is good. The God that they were talking about. The God that they were trying to say, oh, ain't nothing to that. There is no power there. Huh? But oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Huh? It said, oh, king, yeah. huh? he issued the decree yeah. and he put it in writing yeah. so that it could not be altered. Huh? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Huh? You know how they put things in writing? Yes, I guess sir. just to scare you or just to seal it in. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Huh? But the God that we serve, he said that I am uh -huh. a God like no uh -huh. other. I perform like no other. Huh? God, yeah. even though it isn't writing, it's not like writing. You see it right there in your face and you done sign the paper. Even though the paper is a lie, huh? because I know the God that I serve. Huh? If he delivered Daniel, he could deliver me too. Huh? It cannot be altered. By you signing this mean that's the truth. Mm -hmm. And you agree. Okay? So they're saying that when he signed that decree, when the king signed it, it was not going to be changed. So no matter what you do, no matter what's going on, he said, I'm not going to change it. Huh? Change but I am a God like no other. Oh, taste and see huh? that I can alter the thing that is in yes. your life. Huh? When you get the bad yes. medical report, huh? even yes. though it's there in writing, huh? I am a God like no other. Huh? It can be altered huh? because I am good. Huh? Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Huh? Hallelujah. Or when they give you a pink slip, huh? that's another piece of paper. Huh? That's saying that you have fired. We don't lay you off from work. Huh? Oh, but it's a pink slip. Huh? The pink slip huh? can be altered. Hallelujah. Because I am a God like no other. I am product in action. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? He can be product in action for you too. Huh? Just because it's paper. Huh? And just because the words are on it. Huh? And the big boss unsigned your paper. Huh? Through the goodness of God. Huh? That paper can be altered. Amen. By you doing this, that means there's no hope for me. Or I won't get another job. But God's saying... I can alter that because I am a God like no other. And that's what they thought about Daniel. He trapped. Ain't no way he coming up out of this. Huh? Yep. Hallelujah. Yep. Huh? When the yep. devil put us through something, that's what he wants us to think. Huh? Yep. We're trapped. Huh? And ain't no way you're coming up out of this. Huh? But I serve a God huh? that's proud of in action. Huh? I serve a God huh? that's proud of in action. Huh? If I'm me going through this demonstration, somebody else is going to be interested in my God. Huh? And they're going to change their life. Keep you like you kept Daniel. Yes, 
conveying ownership. ownership. Tasting and seeing that God is good. And once you have tasted him, I'll have some of that. Thank you. I'm going to lie there right there. Hallelujah. Because the protection looks good on me. I'm going to lie there right there. His peace looks good on me. I'm going to take that right there. Almost said it. Taste it and see. See if you like it. Hallelujah. And if you like it, hallelujah, you come back for more. Hallelujah. That's how they do with the free trials. That's what they do. Yeah. get your foot in the door. Yeah, that's what they yeah. do. Once we got your foot in the door, we got you. We got to keep you interested. Free sample of perfume. <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. So go ahead and try it. Hallelujah. And for most of us sitting in here, we already accepted the free trial. Amen. When we first tried him, we found out that we liked him. Yeah. We found out that he was good. Yeah. And we found out that he was a product of action. Yeah. And that's why we love him. That's right. That's right. We love that demonstration. So I'll take this product, thank you. I'll take this product. Hallelujah. You can't take him away from me. Ownership. Mm -hmm. Then the third one said it combats concerns. Amen. Your demonstration also helps you combat product-related concerns. Mm -hmm. Presented by a buyer, people often come with pre preconceived notions or misinformation mm -hmm. based on things they have heard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was the people in Daniel's time. If the consumer questioned your claims or doubt your product, and its performance, a demo, can ease those concerns. Is there anything to Daniel's God is what they were saying. Is there anything to what Daniel's God can do? Because he's praying to him. And he's going to risk his life for the God that he serves. So I want to know, is there anything to this God? Hallelujah. So that's why they did what they did to Daniel. To see if God was going to show up. No, let me rephrase that. See if his God was going to show up and to deliver him. Hallelujah. But the tasting of God's goodness yes, is sir. to combat anybody's concerns that they have about this product. That is there anything to this product? Is it any good? What you think about Jesus? I think that he's all right with me. What do you think about Jesus? He's all right with me. So you got to combat those concerns, those naysayers with your life and what's coming up out of your mind. He's all right with me. There is no fault in him. So come on. Hallelujah. And taste of his goodness. Allow me to demonstrate. That's what Daniel was trying to say. There is no fault in my God. So I'm going to die for him. There is no fault in my God. Oh, just you wait and see. It says the demo can ease those concerns. Preach. Hallelujah. Your life can ease their concern about what they're saying. I don't know why you still at that old church anyhow. Right. Your money situation has not changed. You still living here in this house. I thought you said that you was walking in overabundance and you're going to be living in the mansion. Mm -hmm. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Yes. And that's the only thing they said. You still right here where you at? Because they are seeing it with natural eyes. But he can still be God. God can move for me whenever he gets ready to. So I'm not going to bash my because I know what God can do. Let me ease your concerns. Because he has delivered me too many times. So I'm not going to bash my God. I'm not going to bash him. Because God is good to me. Hallelujah. So you got to ease their concerns. In other words, you can just say, just look at me. I am the demonstration. I am the proof. Just look at me. Hallelujah. Especially if they know you from way back then. Just look at me. You know how I used to be. Just look at me. You knew I was evil. You knew I was mad. So is there anything to the church that you're going to? Don't you see a change in me? I am the demonstration. Don't you see a change in me? Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I am the demonstration. I am being manifested. I am the exhibit. I'm showing you the existence or the truth Amen. that God is real and his power is real. Yes, sir. Just look at me. That's what you got to say. Just look at me. Just look at me. Hallelujah. So God's power is real. Just look at me. And that's just shut him up 
right there, especially if they knew how it worked. Hallelujah, or whatever situation you was in, and you're not in that situation anymore. Just look at me. Hold on, just look at me. Hallelujah. They come back concerned, they conveyed ownership. And in my closing, we're going to go to number four. Amen. It provides proof. <laughs> and that demonstration, it provides proof. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalms 120 and 1. Psalms 120 and 1. Amen. In my distress, I cried unto the Lord. Yes, sir. And he heard me. Yes. I'm listening. Demonstrations are often called proof devices mm -hmm. because they offer tangible evidence that support what you said. Daniel prayed to God and God heard him. I will show them that your prayer works. All right. Allow me to demonstrate. All right. All right. Allow me to demonstrate. All right. Mm -hmm. I will show them that prayer works. Mm -hmm. Allow me to manifest, make known my skills. Seek ye first the kingdom of God yes. and his righteousness, mm -hmm. and all these things shall be added unto you. Yes. For Daniel and Andrew, our protection was added. Hallelujah! Well, that when he cried out to God in his distress, uh -huh. God sent the angel to close the lion's mouth. Hallelujah! So this is proof evident right here that God will hear us when we cry out to him in distress. It says, I'm listening. So go on. Hallelujah! Our cry sometimes stop God in his tracks. I am the demonstration. I am the living proof. These people, hallelujah, need to see something spectacular happen. Because Daniel was serving God. That's just like with us. Uh, uh, just saying, hey miss, hey miss, hey miss. Want to try this? Hey miss, hey miss. No, we just keep on walking. We don't want to try it. <laughs> hallelujah! So if he's whistling or if he's standing on a hoverboard, hallelujah. And he said, hey miss, hey miss. While he's whistling, hey, that looks interesting. He got to put a couple more gimmicks. Yeah. Yeah. In his presentation, in order to get me to stop, we walking. He always said, "Man, I'm alright. Don't worry. Don't even look at the man." Amen. I'm like, "Don't do all this. See where you are. Go, 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 go." Hallelujah. That's how it is with us when we're witnessing sometimes. It's not, you're not even interesting. You look boring, you sound boring. Ah, you must go to a boring church and you must serve a boring God. Hallelujah, but that's not so. Hallelujah. we got to make it more interesting and more attractive. So with this demonstration, that's what God had to do. He had to call Daniel huh, to be put inside the lion. There was the ferocious lions. Huh? And then on top of that, the king closed the stone. Huh? And he put a signet ring on it. Huh? Meaning nobody, nobody, nobody. Huh? Hallelujah. Nobody huh, can touch this. Hallelujah. But oh God, he can touch this No matter if it's written No matter the decree God, he can touch this Hallelujah, even the king couldn't help him But my king can The king couldn't help him But the king of kings, he can help us He is proof, he is the proof provider Hallelujah And if you need any more proof He came out, hallelujah Without anything wrong with him And when they saw this the decree was changed. Their hearts was changed. When they saw what God had done. When they see what God had done in your life. The decree that they have. The thing that they have. The perception that they have. That there's nothing to this God. It will change. Hallelujah. You did more than what I expected. For Daniel, God did more than what was expected. And what was that? Their hearts was changed. To serve the God huh, that Daniel was serving. Huh? God, huh, you did more than this. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? Even for me. Huh? Hallelujah. Now, yeah, yeah. you said, God, huh? I cried out in distress huh? yeah. because my foot was hurting. Huh? Hallelujah. But you healed my foot huh? and the vein that was going up my leg. Huh? I didn't know nothing was wrong with it. Huh? But in the midst of you healing my foot, huh? you healed my vein also huh? that I didn't know existed, huh? that I didn't know I had a problem with. Huh? You did more. Huh? what I expected. Huh? You did more huh? than what I expected. Huh? I asked for this, huh? but as a result of his goodness, huh? I got that too. Huh? I asked for this, huh? but because of his goodness, huh? I got that too. I asked to be delivered. And in the midst of me being delivered, huh? the people got saved. Huh? 
demonstration. Amen. Allow me to demonstrate. Allow me. Allow me to manifest. Allow me to show you the truth of who I am. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And we're standing. Hallelujah. 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 God demonstrated his power in your life so that it would change somebody else's heart. So that it would change somebody else's heart. Hallelujah. So we got to have a demonstration that will stop somebody in their tracks. Amen. To make them want to be interested in the God that we serve. Allow me to demonstrate. Give me the permission to do the extraordinary. So you can say, God, you did more than I expected. Yeah. You did more than I expected. You did more than I expected. And therefore, I thank you for this. Yes, Lord. You did more than I expected. Come on, just tell him, say, Lord, you did more than I expected. More than I expected. Because you know he did. Because he saved you and look where you're at now. See, when I first got saved, I didn't think I would be here. Stand up on the podium. So, God, you did more than what I expected. Amen. I didn't think I was going to be healed three or four times. But, God, you did more than what I expected. You did more than what I expected in my life. So, we're thanking him for over and abundance. Hallelujah. Come on, we're lifting our hands to him. God, we're thanking you for the word on today. God, we're thanking you for the people that are assembled here. God, we thank you because our hearts been changed through your word today, God. We thank you because we know that you have power and that you exist today, God. Help us to have a word in our mouth that would change and stop somebody in their tracks today that would be interested in the God that we serve today. Help our testimony be a live wire today, Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, that it will spark somebody else's life today. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we tell them the truth about who you are and that you are existing and you are a God like no other, that you are a loving and caring God. Uh, we're thanking you now, God, because your word is healing us. We're thanking you now, God, because your word is strengthening us. We're thanking you now, God, because your word is delivering us. We're thanking you now, God, because your word is shielding us. We're thanking you now, God, because your word is increasing us. We're thanking you now, God, for the overabundance. We're thanking you now, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And we're blessing you and we're thanking you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord.